Yo, what's going on with y'all? It's your boy Neo XO coming back at y'all with a Black Clover prediction video. This is probably gonna be a shorter prediction video because we just got out of a big battle. Nozelle and Noel really showed out. I really enjoyed last chapter. Um, but looking forward into the future, next chapter I feel like Noel and Nozelle are not really gonna be able to do anything. Possibly Nozelle. Nozel might be able to do anything, but I don't think Nozelle, Noel is gonna really be able to do much considering like she's at her limit and that's not a bad thing we've seen asta at a, his limit you know and i know you know it's a common theme to surpass your limits but at the moment there's no obstacle directly in front of them because they just took out magicula so they're they they deserve a little bit of rest now as far as some of the other characters you know it still has an enemy right directly in front of them we're gonna have to get some type of clarification on what's going on with Yuno and Xenon. And if, if not that, it's probably gonna focus more towards Asta because at the end of the day, they did take out Magicula. So what are they gonna be doing? Just laying around? I highly doubt it. They're gonna be on to the next and the next is either Morris or Xenon. So it is gonna be very, very interesting. Let me know what you guys think is more interesting. Morris? or Xenon because we don't know either one of their devils so it's going to be really really interesting i'm probably going to put a poll to get you guys to vote check the community tab sometime and i'm gonna put a poll up there see like who do y'all want to like who are y'all more curious about Xenon or morris personally i guess i'm gonna have to say Xenon since we've been invested in Xenon's you know story longer and i feel like morris is probably going to be the last one standing out of their their enemies um the fact that xenon still hasn't it still hasn't been revealed who his devil is that's still like piquing my curiosity i don't think it's going to be a situation like with vonica and magicula where magicula manifested i don't really think xenon's devil is going to manifest because if you remember magicula was only able to do that because of her special ritual that she was trying to do behind lucifero's back so i don't think that whoever Xenon's devil is is going to be doing anything like that and i'm really curious to see who is his devil and i'm really curious to see how you know takes care of Xenon. will you know be able to defeat Xenon, or will he need to have some kind of backup now ultimately i'm going to tell you guys right now ultimately you know is going to defeat Xenon. but the real question is how much help is he going to need because we see noel needed some help and you know it is what it is you know probably is gonna need like he already has hope all right he has langers but is he gonna need more help because asta might be on the way to go back him up you know that would be cool i don't know i know some people are probably gonna get mad because people got mad whenever asta came to help uh noel situation so if, if asta goes to help you know situation like I feel like people will be a little bit mad so ultimately we might get a you know chapter is what I'm, I'm thinking we either gonna get a you know chapter or it's gonna switch to Asta it might also be like a just a talking chapter but y'all know Tabata don't just have talking mid chapters you know that's what I'm saying that's what helped me like predict some of this like Tabata really just he be gone he be going to the he be going to the races like he be on to the, this point, then he move on to this point, then this point. And I feel like last point was Magicula. She out the game. She out the game for right now. So he gonna move on to the next point. The next logical point would be Morris or you know and Xenon. So we might get to see some knocked. Knocked might be like, oh good, they were able to take down the enemy. Or maybe some people arrive to the scene a little bit late and be like, oh, y'all already took care of the enemy before we even got here. And Right now, it's looking like the Clover Kingdom is actually winning, you know, and that's a good thing to see. That's a really good thing to see. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that Magicula's, her her dark disciples that she was using, I feel like they're out of commission. I, I, I would, if I had to, if I had to predict, I would say they're, they're out of commission. They're, they're no longer a viable source of retaliation from the enemy. So moving forward, I think we're gonna be focusing a lot more on Yuno and a lot more on Morris. I'm, I'm i'm more leaning towards you know because morris seems like the 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 last villain but um 
yeah, uh, yeah. Ultimately, you know, it's going to win. You know, next chapter. Hopefully, we go straight into you know. That's what I want to see. It might not happen because Tabata might want to slow down the story a little bit. But if if his Tabata goes at the pace he normally goes, we're gonna probably see a you know chapter. So you know, it's gonna be coming back because it's been a very long time since we've seen him and we don't have the conclusion to that fight. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. No need to make it really long because. We got to see what direction Tabata wants to take it in. And then we could, you know, build upon that. But he's pro the two directions that I think it could possibly go is the Morris direction and the Uno direction. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. As always, it's me, your boy, NeoXO, and I'm out. <laughs>